They are, they are. It's basically chillaxing, isn't it? <laughs> You know, this is you know, in, in America, we'll call chillax and sleeping. Is that what you just look to the advocate? No, it's just because it's 12.30 at night, so if somebody mentions chillax to me, I think they're going to sleep. Well, don't fall asleep. I won't fall asleep. The couch is comfortable, it's not that comfortable. Cool. <laughs> right, okay, so you start with Daniel, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Daniel, you're 19 years old, you're yeah. an actor, I'm a screenwriter. <laughs> you're annoyingly talented. Thank you. That's a compliment at all. No, it is a compliment. It's an answer. I'd like to I want to hate you, but I actually like you. I've spoken to you earlier on. I know you think that. So you were kind of slagging off before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just jumped up. Look who you are. He, he's come up and he's actually a really nice chap. And who is talented. It's like annoying. Yeah. So uh, what came first? The chicken over the head? Um, well, that's a hard question. I, um, I, I don't know. I don't know really. I think the egg. I think the egg. I'll always use that. And uh, what came first, the acting or the writing? Oh, I did. I, well, I wrote my first play, and it was known. And, um, and uh, it got performed at Hampton Theatre and stuff. And then uh, I just quit that for a while, then I got into the acting. And then I, I couldn't get any jobs. So um, it was really hard, didn't it? So I thought, you know what, I'm going to write my own stuff. I put myself in, because there's no way. And um, I ain't got ego, it's just like, do you mean? No one's there for me. I like um, it's a bit Matt David, Ben Affleck. You're not getting work, so I'm going to write some. Well, I, still can't, I love the fact that you quit writing in 90 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it was boring, I went to play games. What makes it that you're opening? Uh, you know what, I've got Connect for Xbox. I'm a right play. <laughs> what was the, was the play called? I you know, know what it was, it was based on Keenan and Kel. And <laughs> Then they cast it, then I got cast. 
I don't know, but then it just has to be for math. Then. That was a nice surprise, wasn't it? It was, it was. You've been brought on as a screen right. Were you beat it as well? Ah, oh, you know what? Sweet, <laughs> <laughs> nice. really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, And was that like a personal sort of thing? You also tried to get on the show, or was that just kind of. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to be on it, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, it, was it already on? Uh, no, not at all. It was so just, it was just, I think the thing, it was, no one knew what it was. It was just this show that was going to be on E4. So we were like, and then, um, and then, and then it came out and it was just a bit, a bit mad. Well, the advert for the teaser kind of promotional trailer time yeah. was amazing. And you want to see that? The advert when they were like mental in the house? Yeah. yeah. You wanted to be in that party, I did. I like to see the kid on the tricycle, like. <laughs> <laughs> like sort of whacking off. They were all jumping up and down on a bed and stuff. Yeah, it just looked insane. I remember thinking, you know, I had a house party, you know, when I was a kid. Yeah. But nothing like that. No, I mean, that was dramatic enough. It was like a rain day at least. <laughs> Yeah, my mate Mike was sleeping on my bedroom floor and I was like, oh shit. There's no way I'm lying in this now, it stinks. <laughs> my dad came in, I cleaned it up. I managed to get over to like some newspaper. My dad came in, he was been sick in here. I was like, how do you know this? <laughs> but my, our house party was never like that. Uh, we just sat, sat down. No, I've been to a couple of them. I've been to a couple of them. Well, like that party? Yeah, no, no, yeah, I remember it was one. Oh. And it was, it was in, it was in uh, Kentish Town. And then there was a big like, house party, and then there was loads of uninvited guests. And then um, they just raided the place and, and just took loads of CDs. But the thing is, the next day, they came back and gave all the West Side CDs. <laughs> 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 and my life was just... You forgot them in the first place and came back. Nah, they took them, and they realised it was shit. And then they were like, nah, and they just knocked them and gone, gave them back. And they, took, they kept the Rolex. Uh, Intelligent thieves. That, that is adding insult to injury, isn't it? I've never stopped. I'm not even... I'm not even Caring thieves. <coughs> Caring thieves. I like that. So when you're writing down your lap, how is it sort of like a uh, process? Or do you kind of let your brains just sort of spill onto the page? No, I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I, I act it out when I'm writing, I act out the scene. Because I used to do a lot of improvisation when I was at um, learning to act and stuff. So, so <coughs> I, I treat it as improvisation on the page. So I, I, I basically, I'll be like 3 o'clock in the morning just talking to myself. I look crazy. Alright, and then and just, and then just being there to act out the scene, and if it doesn't sound right in my end, I just cut it out and change it again. And, after, and then when I finish, I just talk, read the scene up, see how it is, the shit, change it, it's alright, just leave it. Are, are you responsible for like one episode? Yeah, well, series two, I, I've got commission to write an episode. <coughs> and, then, and, and if it's not an episode that you're writing, do you contribute? Yeah, we contribute, give our opinions, and right. see what could work better in the story and stuff. And yeah, there's, there's loads of possibilities. What was it like taking your baby that you sort of sat there and you say three in the morning, really you know, obsessing over, taking that baby you've created and then giving it to your baby who you've obviously been kissing with yeah. and now on the table and say, right, there you go, be gentle with it. What was that, that first read through? No, no, no. Oh, the first read through? Oh, because I knew the card that was, I was frightened, I was really. I don't know, yeah. Well, I was like, because they filmed it as well, weren't it? And then, um. They filmed a oh, read through? Yeah, they filmed a read through. Oh, shit, in myself. Really, <laughs> and, and I, because, because there was so much hype about this, because I was like, I was 18 at the time, and I have known them for ages, like not ages, but for like a good year. Were you in that head? Yeah, of course. Like, you had yourself some killer lines. Yeah, of course I was in it. Like, it didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, no, uh, just can't ask the question. No, yeah, the read through, the read through was yeah. it was tense, it was tense. Was that the only kind of uh, disadvantage to you know? Obviously, being part of the show we made about the episode, or I mean, obviously the advantage would be the fact you know the characters better than a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you, you know, because you know, because you, you're with the actors, you know what they respond to best with. Especially someone that's really useful to your story, like someone like Joe Dempsey who plays Chris. You just know, like he can just pick up, he can make up a, a line funny that's not really funny. And if you know that in your head, and you've seen the way he works, you just, you just know what will, will sit with him and what he will. Or we just hit with it. So that, that helps as well. I like what you mentioned before about uh, when you write it, the fact that you actually read it out yourself. Yeah. And uh, from experience on Hollyoaks, Channel 4's Hollyoaks. Oh, we we had to a few writers that obviously hadn't done that. They just read it down a piece of paper and not read it out to themselves out loud. And, and once we kind of sat down and read it out, loud, you'd think this just a natural conversation. Yeah, sometimes it's a real mouthful, isn't it? Now, do you, do you guys, 
Did you guys have input on to how, when, when you're on the set and you're working with this script, how much, how much could you, how much leeway did you have? 